This is the step challenge. The step challenge is going to measure your cardiorespiratory endurance um, along with your heart rate. So the first thing we need to do is measure our resting heart rate. To do this, just like we did at the beginning of the year, you can find your pulse either on your wrist, on the thumb side, or two fingers below on your chin, the side of your neck, okay? So you wanna find that thump. Okay, when you find that, you wanna count it for six seconds. Ready? Go. and stop. All right, so now that you've gotten that number, you're gonna add a zero. Mine was six, so 60 beats per minute. That is your resting heart rate. Next, what we're gonna do is you need to find a step somewhere in or around your house that is eight to 10 inches high, okay? You only need one step. And when this uh, video starts, um, it's gonna be a cadence and so when it clicks you're gonna go up up down down so it'll look like this up up down down up up down down and you're gonna do this with that cadence for three minutes and I'm providing the timer for this um, so you don't have to worry about finding anything for that okay but for three minutes it's gonna be up up down down up up down down Okay, do your absolute best to stay with that cadence. When it's finished, you're gonna stop and you're gonna take your heart rate again, just like we did a second ago, okay? On your wrist or on your neck, it's gonna be a lot higher now because you've been active. This is your active heart rate. Again, count it for six seconds and add a zero. So if you counted 18, then your beats per minute would be 180 beats per minute. Okay, and then you're going to rest. Okay, we're going to rest for one minute. After you've gotten that uh, um, active heart rate, we're going to rest for one minute, and then we're going to take our pulse again. And after that one minute, once we've taken our, our pulse, that's going to give us our recovery heart rate. So we're finding our pulse, count it for six seconds, add the zero, and that is our recovery heart rate. So when you're entering your numbers into WellNet, you're gonna have a um, resting heart rate before you do the activity. You're gonna do your active heart rate, which is as soon as you finish um, that three minutes of doing the steps. And then we're gonna wait one minute, and then you're gonna retest, and you're gonna get your recovery heart rate. So you're gonna enter all three of those numbers in, and it's going to automatically give you your, um, the, the difference, your, um, the recovery heart rate. Um, so that's going to automatically generate. Okay. So follow along. I know this one's going to be tough, but you can do it. Great job, boys and girls.